everyone and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Sayla Raines, health educator with the West Virginia University Extension Office and today I'm going to show you how to make cheesy vegetable bake. And if you don't have cheese, don't worry, cheese is optional. Of course, the first thing we always do in the kitchen is wash our hands, which I've already done. For this recipe, we need to preheat our oven, so set your oven to 420 degrees. Next, it's time to start assembling our materials and ingredients. In order to make cheesy vegetable bake, you'll need the following ingredients. One medium onion, finely sliced. Two carrots, chopped. Two zucchini, sliced. Half a head of broccoli, chopped. A quarter head of cauliflower, chopped. Four tomatoes, diced. One teaspoon of basil. Three quarter cups of cheddar cheese, if you're using cheese. A little bit of nonstick cooking spray. And you'll also need to get a nine inch square baking dish, a skillet, and some aluminum foil. Alright, so now that we've got all our vegetables ready to go, we're going to go ahead and start adding things to our baking dish. We're going to go ahead and start with our sliced zucchini. So I'm just putting that in there. Next, we're going to add our broccoli. You can stir as you go if you like. cauliflower, and chopped carrots. Once you get your veggies in there, go ahead and set that to the side. Now you're going to get your skillet. Go ahead give it a shot of cooking spray and remember those onions that we sliced we're going to brown those and we're just going to brown them for a few minutes on their own now that my onions are brown I'm ready to go ahead and stir in the tomatoes and that basil this is gonna make your house smell like heaven. All right, so my tomatoes and onions have been cooked down a little bit and all those flavors have started to mingle. You don't wanna cook up for too long together, um, just two or three minutes. Once that has started to really just smell wonderful, go ahead and turn off your heat and you're gonna take this and just pour those tomatoes and onions right over top of your vegetables. So it should look like this. Next, we're gonna cover this with foil and put it into our oven for 40 minutes. Welcome back. It's been 40 minutes, so it's time to go ahead and take our cheesy vegetable bake out of the oven. It smells so good. We're gonna go ahead and peel the foil back and now if you don't want to add cheese, you can go ahead and let this start to cool down. But if you'd like to go ahead and add that cheese, now's the time to do it. So I'm taking my three quarters of a cup of cheddar and I'm just sprinkling it right all across the top there. Mm, this smells so good already. So we're going to leave this uncovered and put it back in the oven for five minutes to make that cheese nice and melty. It's been five minutes that we've had this in the oven for the cheese to melt, so we're going to go ahead and take it out now. Oh wow, check that out y'all. So this is your cheesy veg bake. Now you want to go ahead and let this cool for at least five minutes before you try to serve it. Make sure that you refrigerate any leftovers within two hours and get those finished up within three to five days. We hope you enjoy it. We'll see you next time.